Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Southwest Airlines 2915. Going to the Valley of the Sun. Good morning and welcome to Long Beach Airport. Today I'm flying to Phoenix for my annual plane spotting day trip and I'm flying Southwest Airlines 2915. Join me on today's trip report and flight experience. We're in a bit of a lull between Thanksgiving and the Christmas holiday season, so it's not too busy just yet. Since this is just a day trip, I don't have any bags to check and I checked in online 24 hours. I'll be in the B boarding group number 13. So now I'll head to TSA pre-check which should only take a few minutes since there's not much of a line. And from being dropped off, to getting my boarding pass at the kiosk, to pass TSA pre-check, the total time was about 9 minutes. Remember, your times will be a bit longer if checking bags or not having TSA pre-check or clear. We're approaching the busy Christmas and holiday season, and there are lots of flights heading out this morning to places like Vegas, Sacramento, Denver, and of course Phoenix, just to name a few places. So with about 45 minutes before boarding, let's head over to our gate. On the way there, I just wanted to point out our new and modern baggage claim area. It's a big improvement over the previous baggage claim. We're heading over to gate number 8, which seems to be a common gate I've been departing from this year. Anyway, there's our flight, Southwest Airlines 2915, on time, departing at 7.10 this morning, from gate 8 with a current temperature in Phoenix of 47 degrees Fahrenheit. There's our plane that'll take me to Phoenix this morning. I'll be on board one of Southwest Airlines' newest planes. As of this trip report, this is a one-year-old Boeing 737 MAX 8. It's registered November 8825 Quebec, painted in the hard livery. It's an all-economy layout of 175 seats and this plane was delivered to Southwest Airlines on December 16, 2022. It's powered by two CFMI Leap 1B engines. The plane had arrived from Las Vegas the night before, which is my birthday, December 8th, as Southwest Airlines 2580. As has been more common lately, even checking in 24 hours before the scheduled departure, I'll be in the B boarding group, today B13. Being on a MAX, or even the 737-800, the plane should only be about half full when I board, so I still should be able to get a window seat towards the middle or back of the plane. It's a bit of a walk from the gate to our plane, and to avoid confusion and boarding a different plane, the walkways are roped off to direct you to which plane you should get on. And, of course, with this being the holiday season and wanting to create a more festive atmosphere, this morning we're greeted by a dancing Grinch, and we'll even be offered some candy canes, which was a bit of an unexpected surprise. Thank you. The other nice thing is that at Long Beach we board at the front and back of the plane. Even though the plane is already half full, I always try to board at the back. Not only do you get to walk underneath the wing and get a neat perspective of the plane, you'll have a better chance to get seats together if traveling with someone, or if you desire, say, a window seat. Because of the line, you may even have a chance to get a seat closer to the front. Of course, with the stairs, you should only do this if you're physically able to do so. Welcome on board, Southwest Airlines 2915 and this Boeing 737 MAX 8. The mood lighting is on and it looks really neat inside. I'll be seated in 23F, a window seat. And, as you can see, I could have gone much farther towards the front if I wanted to. And that's what the seat looks like. Flying on the MAX, you'll be treated to the widest seats among Southwest Airlines' entire fleet. And I'll explain more in a moment. This flight will not be full, as there will be about 30 empty seats. And I can tell the vibe is definitely more chill than when I fly to Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen on this aircraft, uh, unfortunately the, the suitcases do not go long ways. They need to go flat. So if you've placed your bag long ways, you might spread it out, please. 
That was a bit of a weird request, but basically he was saying to lay your carry on like normal, not on his side, which I've been able to do on some of the max overhead bins. But as you can see, the bins are pretty big and all of our carry-ons will fit. The seats on Southwest Boeing 737 MAX 8 are the widest in the fleet. There are between 32 and 33 inches of pitch. Pitch basically means the distance from any point on one seat to the exact same point on the seat in front or behind it. The seat width is 17.8 inches, and those .8 inches of width do make a big difference in terms of the comfort and helping not feel so packed in. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Southwest Airlines 2915. Going to the Valley of the Sun and then over to the Big D. Guys, we are not going out full. There's going to be about 36 open. We do have lots of room still back here in the back, lots of bin space back here in the back. We do not be playing out of the back in Phoenix. There's still premium seats back here, lots of bin space, lots of lots of rows still open. It is open seating. Welcome on board. And there's the meal tray, which is a bit of overkill since we'll only be getting a small snack bag and a drink. But if you have, say, a 13 or 14 inch laptop, you should have enough room to do some work, or at least watch a movie. <laughs> we do have personal air vents, which is always a plus in my book. Every seat also has its own reading light, and you can see we're in a nice shade of blue right now thanks to the Boeing Sky interior. That button on my left hand armrest will recline the seat 2 inches or so, and you can see we do have adjustable headrests. So we're just about ready to go, and the safety demonstration will be starting up in just a moment. Plus Airlines Flight 2915, service of the meeting, and they will be continuing on to Dallas. Flight today are Annabelle, Travis, and Chuck shortly after pickup will be on. Complimentary beverage and snack service, you can certainly buy adult beverages by using your debit card, credit card, or balance in Southwest Airlines coupon. Now is the time to make sure that all of your electronic devices placed in airplane mode, the cell function must be completely disabled, all large laptop computers. You can be powered off and stowed away for takeoff and landing if you're seated in the overwing window exit. That has been designated as an emergency exit row. We ask you folks to please read the safety information card that's located in the seat back pocket. If you do not meet the criteria or you simply do not wish to perform those functions, just let us know. We'd be happy to receive you. So we can push back from the gate. We need for everyone to have their seat belts fastened, seat backs and tree tables in their full upright and locked position with all of those carry-on items underneath the seat in front of you, leaving the area around your feet completely clear. Well, we certainly thank you so much for choosing us here at Southwest Airlines. We do anticipate an on-time departure. Here's the beverage menu for today's flight. As this flight will be more than 176 miles, we'll be getting a snack and a beverage. Water, soft drinks, juice, coffee, tea, hot chocolate, and a Bloody Mary mix are all free. And as I mentioned on my previous trip report, the cost of beer, wine, and spirits went up in price by a dollar to between seven and nine dollars. I guess that's due to inflation. And don't forget those four dates at the bottom right, as if you fly on those days, you'll be able to get a free drink, anything you want. Southwest is in the process of installing in-flight power to keep your devices charged. Newly delivered planes should have that on board, while this plane will eventually get it. And since there was no one sitting in the middle seat, I moved my bag over, and now you can see I have plenty of leg room. Alright ladies and gentlemen, the door of the aircraft is now closed, so please double check your electronic device, make sure you place it in airplane mode, and flight attendants, please arm your doors for pushback and crossing. The safety feature, you're going to find a safety information card there in your seat back pocket, it does help to highlight some of the safety procedures here on board. And to fasten your seatbelt, you will slide the flap end into the buckle, pull the loose strap to tighten to release, lift up on the buckle. The seatbelt should be worn tight and lower rear exit doors, four over wing window exits, and two rear exit doors. The signs overhead and lights on the floor will lead you to the exits. If there is an evacuation today, please follow flight attendant instructions and leave everything. So now you can see we're in a darker shade of blue. We'll be pushing back from the gate in a few moments, so sit back and enjoy flying Southwest 2915 with me. We're pushing back just a few minutes after our scheduled 7.10 a.m. departure, and today's flight will be about 54 minutes. And I'll shut up and let you enjoy the sound of the CFM Leap 1B engine starting up.
behind us is Southwest 3336 going to Denver. Their plane is a Boeing 737-800, November 8620 Hotel, and it's painted in the Tennessee One livery. flight attendants got our drink orders very quick. The way that it works is that the flight attendants will split up the plane into different segments and serve a section of rows in that segment. Our flight attendants started taking our orders in row 22. As you can see, my beverage of choice is a cup of orange juice. Thank you. This morning's snack was this bag of graham crackers, which I also had on my previous morning flight to Vegas. They don't look that big, but it is a nice and sweet alternative to the usual snack bag. However, on my way back that evening, we were served the regular snack bag. So I don't know if these graham crackers are just served in the morning or just a trial or seasonal thing, but I happen to like them. Here we are flying over a very unique part of California that I hope to visit one day. It's called the Salton Sea. Anyway, with that view, let me tell you a little bit about the in-flight entertainment. You'll copy that link onto your browser on your phone, and that's what you'll have access to. Some texting, movies, live TV, or the $8 internet. That's what the moving map looks like. Uh, as you can see, we're just starting our journey out there. You can see they give you different angles and perspectives of what you'll be able to see. There is some information on connecting flights for the destination, in this case Phoenix, and that is the streaming TV. Usually when I have this option, I'll watch ESPN. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mega Fun sitting into Phoenix. Guys, double check those seatbelts, make sure they are still fastened. Your seat back and your tray tables need to go in the pull-up right lock position and all carry an item stowed away. Guys, I know some of you just got your drinks not too long ago. But guys, if we handed it out, we gotta pick it up. So if you got a drink, start drinking. We're gonna come to the cabin, pick up the last of the items and any trash. Okay. Please remain seated for the duration of the flight. We'll be on the ground shortly. Welcome to Phoenix. And with that announcement, let's wrap up this trip report and flight experience on Southwest Airlines 2915. This is my fifth Southwest trip report and final trip report of 2023. Each experience is different based on the crew, the plane, the mood of the passengers, or occasion for the flight. It was nice to have a festive atmosphere boarding the plane in Long Beach with the dancing Grinch and the candy canes that were being given out to the passengers. The flight attendants did their job well. We didn't have a singing flight attendant like the Boise flight or someone bantering back and forth with the football fans like the flight to Vegas after Thanksgiving. They did seem pretty chill, and they weren't in a big rush to get the beverages and snacks out to everyone like the crews on the Vegas flights. 
I do like the graham crackers that they serve on these morning flights, and I hope we get them more often, in the morning at least, or maybe even permanently. We departed for Phoenix relatively close to on time, and we arrived into Phoenix pretty much on time. So I'll be out here in the Phoenix area doing some plane spotting, and so be on the lookout for those plane spotting videos later in the year. So with all that to say, welcome to Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for joining me on Southwest Airlines 2915 from Long Beach to Phoenix. We'll see you next time.